Good morning, God bless you. May these words be edifying to your soul. Praying and fasting, fasting and prayer. Psalms 46, 10. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. Scripture Mark 9, 29. So he said to them, this kind can come out by nothing but prayer and fasting. We need prayer and fasting to break some of these strongholds in our lives and in our family lives. We should practice to be still for the Lord and to bow down to him. We do need prayer and fasting in our lives today to bring down strongholds. When we pray and fast, you are able to direct your thoughts and your attention to the Lord more effective. And when it comes to fasting, it is more than abstaining from food. It's a powerful combination. Mm -hmm. Fasting helps to clear our minds and bodies so that we are more receptive to the, to the will of God. Fasting is a varied and body discipline that reminds us that even our most basic needs are not all important. Our appetites do not have the last word. We submit ourselves to the discipline in order to feed our spirits over our bodies. Another scripture, Mark 4.4, 4, but man does not live by bread alone, but, but through every word that comes out of the mouth of God. By fasting, it allows us to deny our flesh and the Holy Spirit takes over to help us control our desires and wants so that it do not master us. So when we practice this with prayer, I used to say, why can't I hear God's voice? Why is he not speaking to me? But God helped me to realize why was I not listening? Hence, that's why we need to be silent sometime. With all the noise around us in the world and what's going on in our minds, sometimes we just have to be quiet so that we can hear more clearly. Humble ourselves before the Lord, not telling him all the time what we think that we want and need. But Lord, tell me what you want me to have and show me what you want me to do. Again, be silence. Sometimes everything is not meant to be said. This is what fasting and prayer does. Number one, it silences the voices. And it puts your spirit in a heightened level of awareness to the voice of God. Number two, I believe that fasting and prayer resonates your love for God. It stirs up your spirit and it puts you in a positive and it puts you in a posture where you can really receive what you need from God. Number three, it reduces self by denying your body. You're submitting to God and saying, God, it's your will. It's your voice. It's you that I'm after. It also allows the Holy Spirit to move and work freely in your life. Fasting and prayer is a combination that can really lead to breakthroughs and victories. Another scripture, Mark 9, 29. This is the New King James Version. So he said unto them, this kind can come out by nothing but prayer and fasting. So if you are in a place where you feel stuck, could it be that the battle in your home can only be won through prayer and fasting? Do you think it could be that you do you think that it could be that you will receive the direction you need, the clarity you need when you make the sacrifice to pray and fast? Fasting clears our minds and bodies so that we are more receptive to the will of God. It is discipline that makes you walk with Jesus Christ richer and it makes it more fruitful. Denying your flesh gives your spirit an opportunity to be at the forefront of it. And it allows us to be in a space where we can hear more clearly from our Lord and Savior. Guys, you have heard me speak on this a lot. Um. Sometimes, do you ever feel drained like 
you just feel tired, you feel heavy, you feel weak, you feel confused, you feel undecisive, you feel unsure. And I always say, why didn't, why can't I hear God? But now he's opening this receptive in me to say, fast and pray, my child. Give me something for what you want. Let go of all the noise. Be silent for a minute. Don't be so quick to speak. Show me by denying flesh. And I will help you. We just want, 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 and we don't look at the ramifications of it. Like, why am I acting like this? Why is this this stronghold not being broken down in my children and my and my spouse and my friends and my family and me? Because we don't submit to the will of God by fasting and praying. I love you, Father God. I hope this is a message to someone that really needed to hear it.